my name is Mimi and welcome to my home base story kung saan lagi tayo nagsishare ng mga bagong videos regarding work from home. Kaya naman kung bago kayo sa ating channel, please consider subscribing. Okay, so guys, for today's video, meron tayong isang work from home job na share ko sa inyo na pwede nyong pag-applyan once you already have the skills. Itong job na ito ay isang pagiging project manager. So, unlike all the other videos or all the other jobs na na-share ko na before, this one is a little bit different in a way na kailangan talaga dito guys na marami kang skill set. And ang maganda dito sa pagiging isang project manager is regular yung work nyo. So meaning, all the project manager, they usually work with the client in a long run. Hindi siya yung tipong isang task lang, tapos babayaran ka nila. Dito talaga maraming task and you will be paid regularly, like bi-weekly or monthly. Nice! So kung interested kayong malaman guys kung paano maging isang project manager and kung ano nga ba talaga yun, this is a level up sa pagiging isang VA. So, make sure you check it with me and stay tuned until the end of our video para malaman nyo kung ano nga ba ang isang project manager, ano yung mga tasks, ano yung mga requirements or skill set na kailangan, and kung magkano yung sweldo ng isang project manager. Okay, so para tulungan tayo today, guys, I invited my sister Marlo. She's working as a project manager para i-share sa atin kung paano at kung saan nga ba niya nakuha yung job niya as a project manager and everything else that you need to know. So, let's all welcome my sister Marlo. Hey, everyone! Hi, Miss Mimi! <laughs> Ayan, salamat sa pag-imita. Miss Mimi Oo, salamat sa pag sa channel mo at um, hello sa mga viewers. Ayan, matagal ko na kasi siyang kinukulit, guys, na mag-guess sa channel natin because she's, she has been doing home-based job. Nauna pa siya sa akin. Nag-work pa ako sa office home-based na siya. So, gusto ko i-share niya sa inyo yung experience niya and paano siya naging successful ngayon as a project manager. Um, can you share with them, Marlo, yung job mo right now as a project manager? I've been working um, as a project manager for three years now and itong company na to five years na ako sa kanila actually and then marketing agency kami uh, located kami sa United States at ang kinikater namin clients are private Christian schools ayan so medyo mabigat no yung term na project managing so as a project manager ikaw yung responsible for planning execution at saka completion ng projects or ng campaigns and syempre depende yan sa line of business or niche ng company na a-applyan mo. Um, medyo mabigat yung kaakibat nitong role na to kasi kailangan talaga very accountable ka at um, kailangan alam mo yung ins and outs of the business. Part ng responsibilities mo as a project manager is syempre to monitor yung progress ng campaigns nyo, makikipag-coordinate ka sa mga team members na involved sa isang project. Um, as a marketing agency, medyo marami-rami yung mga um, team members namin. So, meron kaming like mga associates, meron din for Facebook ads, meron for Google ads, meron for SEO, everything in between. So, lahat ng team members na yon, ikaw yung magmamanage and magko-coordinate sa kanila to make sure that a specific project or yung isang campaign is mamimit nyo yung goals ninyo, yung timeline ninyo, and syempre, yung budget ng campaign na yun. Ayan. Ayun. Ganun lang naman karami yung ginagawa niya every night. Um, mabanggit ko lang, guys. I'm actually also working for their company. Boss ko si Marlo. <laughs> In some ways. Kasi I'm doing part-time graphic design for them. So, ayan. Marlo, pwede bang sabihin namin na like, project manager is simply ganun. Manager ka talaga ng tao, ng mga different kinds of tasks. Yes, tama yan. Um, lahat ng included sa project na yun, um, be it the people, yung mga tools, yung mga resources, yung mga software na gagamitin nyo, lahat yun is ikaw ang magmamanage nyo. Ayun. And um, para naman sa mga wala pang idea or who also want to be a project manager in the future, paano ka nagsimula? Like, paano ka nag-start? Siyempre, hindi naman tayo lahat eh, may ganun ng skills, mm -hmm. di ba? Totoo. Ayan, actually, if 
titignan ko yung sarili ko five years ago, hindi ko akalain na magiging project manager ako. Um, just a backdrop of the story. Nag-start kasi ako mag-home-based as um, an inbound, ano ba tawag doon? ISA? Inbound sales. Appointment so, setter. Ayan. Oo, sige. Appointment setter. Padali. <laughs> so, really. Correct. Ayun. So, um, two years ako nag-appointment setting and then, and nag-branch out ako, nag-research ako about admin VA or general VA ang tawag nila doon noon. From one of our Facebook groups, nakakita ako ng headhunter. Sila yung naghanap ng kliyente ko. And I started out just as an executive assistant. So, general VA mm-hmm. pa. Um, wala rin akong idea noon about marketing kasi wala naman akong background with marketing in general. Ang, I, I took up AB communication in college. So, hindi related yung marketing sa AB com, no? Pero mm-hmm. with the company naman na, na, um, na nag-hire sa akin, they trained me and I also researched about the niche of the company. So, nag-start ako as an EA and then naging inbound associate nila ako kung saan tumutulong kaming mag-build ng campaigns for private schools nga. Tapos, um, with the skill set at saka with the um, knowledge na na-stock ko na habang inbound associate ako, I earned my boss's trust for me to become a project manager. Exactly. Um, nakaka-relate ako dyan kasi sa home base talaga guys, usually, yung mga VA na ngayon, hindi related yung pinag-aralan or take up nila sa college dun sa position nila ngayon. And lahat kami, guys, hindi kami dumating sa point na ito na, successful na kami mataas na yung hourly rate namin. Lahat kami, guys, nagsimula dun sa mababa. Kasi dyan nyo mabibuild yung experience nyo, yung skills nyo. Hindi pwedeng mataas na agad yung goal ninyo. Iba kasi talaga pag nag-start kayo sa, sa bottom, kumbaga. Kasi dyan nyo, lahat ng skills na kailangan nyo doon pag nasa taas na kayo, dyan siya manggagaling. So, speaking of skills, ano ba yung mga skills na required ng isang project manager? Patulad natin ng mga VA, no? usually ang nire-require nila is at least 3 to 5 years of project management uh, or any related experience. And then, meron din silang certification na nire-require. And hindi naman lahat ng agency or marketing companies is nagre-require ng certification. But if you have one, that's gonna be a plus for you. Tapos, syempre, yung mga usual skills ng isang project manager, kailangan meron kang ability to multitask, um, kailangan little to no supervision at all, kailangan marunong kang mag-research ng sayo, kailangan updated ka sa mga trends ng niche nyo or ng line of business. In my case, marketing siya. So, Marketing is always changing daily. So, kailangan updated ka talaga sa mga trends. Kailangan meron kang track record na kaya mong mag, um, mag-manage ng isang campaign or project for full cycle. Full cycle meaning from draft to launch and then to reporting. Since ikaw yung nagmamanage ng campaign na yun or nag oversee ng campaign na yun, kailangan talaga lahat ng, lahat ng details ng campaign alam mo kung anong nangyayari. And then, syempre, reporting, kailang alam ng mga taong involved doon sa campaign na yun kung ano na ba, ano ba to? Is it a successful campaign or medyo tagilid ba tayo sa campaign na to? So, yun yung mga usual um, skills and responsibilities na kailangan sa isang project manager. Eh, pagdating naman sa equipment, like, um, meron bang special equipment for a project manager or is it a typical na PC or internet Meron pa bang ibang accessories? Pwede ba sa phone lang yan? Ito yung usual ko na, na nakukuhang questions eh. Oo. Well, for project manager, typical VA siya. Um, unfortunately, hindi siya pwede sa phone kasi you're gonna be using a lot of tools and programs para matrack nyo talaga yung campaigns nyo or yung projects ninyo. Um, so ako, ang ginagamit ko lang is yung PC ko. Um, at least... Kasi marami kang tools na um, or softwares na kailangan gamitin dito, no? So, at least i5 pataas para makahabol yung computer nyo sa mga softwares or programs na sabay-sabay nyo talagang i-open. Kailangan meron din kayong magandang headset. Ito optional to kasi iba-iba namang klase ng project management. Sa case ko kasi, I also meet with our clients para mag-strategize or mag-plan out kami ng mga future campaigns. So, madalas, and kadalasan talaga, nasa meeting ako with them. Um, so, kailangan nyo ng maganda-gandang headset or at least um, 
a USB headset, I would recommend instead na yung antagon jack <laughs> stereo. Oh. And then Ayan. lastly, I would say siguro again another thing that's optional would be camera. If gumagamit kayo ng laptop, it has a built-in camera. That's already fine. But if you're using desktop, then Mas maganda kung may camera ka din just for meetings. Syempre kailangan um, presentable ka rin naman at makikita ka ng kausap mo <laughs> or ng mga clients mo. Katulad nga yung mm-hmm. yan. So investment ang uh, camera at magandang headset. Pero again, those those are optional naman. Dep- Depende kay client 'yan, 'di ba? Parang sa VA din kung ni-require niya na pag meeting eh kailangan formal ka oh, and oh. ayan <laughs> naka video kita kanila ano yung mga typical na hours or work hours or may schedule ba kapag project manager depende again depende siya sa line of business kasi si client ko is US based sila so ang work ko is from 9 pm local or manila time hanggang 5 in the morning um, merong mga clients na kapag project management, pwede kayong maging flexible hours. Like, pwede kayong half or four hours of your shift is whatever time you want. And then the other half, kailangan syempre masundan nyo rin somehow yung time zone nila because of meetings and marketing strategy meetings, mga ganyan. So, parang depende kung ano mapapag-usapan nyo ni client. As long as meron kayong touch, kumbaga magta-touch base kayo. Uh-oh. Mag- mag- kung ano oh, kailangan may overlap progress. yung oras ninyo. Siyempre, kailangan makipag-meet ka rin sa kanila. Hmm. Oh, hindi pwedeng bahala ka na dyan. Ganyan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ayan. So, Marlo, kanina, nabanggit mo na yung mga task or kung ano yung mga ino oversee mo. Parang pahapyaw na rin sa kung ano talagang ginagawa ng isang project manager, di ba? So, can you share with us, like, how does your work day look like? Ano ba yung karaniwan na, like, tool sa ginagamit mo, ano ba yung mga ginagawa mo, let's say, daily, ganyan? Mm-mm. Ayan, alam mo, actually, magandang question yan, no? Um, ako kasi, kapag tinatanong ako ng mga friends ko or yung mga nagtatanong about home base, hindi ko masabi na project manager talaga ako kasi I jokingly tell them na isa akong inbound marketing nani. Ayan. Yeah, yay. Oo. <laughs> kasi pag VA ka talaga, um, marami kang ginagawa. Uh, especially if admin VA ka. Um, so, what does a day look like? Um... Paano ba? Paano ko ba explain? Yun nga, um, more on meetings and then project management. Tools that we use are Slack. So, kung familiar kayo sa Slack, para siyang Skype, pero in a different way. So, yun yung parang team communication tool na ginagamit namin. And then, for project management tools, ang dami na namin nagamit actually. Ang dami ko nang natry mm-hmm. right now. Ang ginagamit namin is monday.com. So, so far, ito talaga yung nag-work sa team namin. Pero we've also used Basecamp, Teamwork, Asana, same page. Ang dami na naming nagamit before. Ayan. So, um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> ano pa ba? Uh, Zoom. Siyempre, ginagamit natin ngayon yung Zoom for meetings. And then, Google Drive. Kailangan doon naka-store yung mga project files namin. Other than Monday.com and Slack, kailangan meron kaming backup. Um, storage. Pero a typical day for me, other than meetings and project management, syempre kapag meron tayong mga team members no, na medyo, let's say, hindi available for the day or meron silang ibang ginagawang projects, minsan nagbaback up din ako sa kanila. So, um, medyo malawak-lawak yung skill set na kailangan kapag ganito. Um, I would say, mm-hmm. uh, siguro, it would include minsan video editing, and then, meron kang graphic design. Um, minsan, kapag full na yung capacity ng team nyo, ikaw yung gagawa ng ibang campaigns. Um, Kung baga, magbaback up ka sa, sa kanila. So, gumagawa rin ako ng landing pages. Um, nagre-run din ako ng Facebook ads. Ayun. So, yun lang yung mga siguro masasabi kong on top of my head ay uh, ginagawa ko rin uh, araw-araw as a project manager or as a VA. Ayan. Ayan, jack of all trades. Kung baga, oh. you're gonna wear all and every hat. Totoo. Na, ano, um, kagaya nga nang sabi ni Marlo, kailangan sobrang lawak ng skill set nyo. And then, sa tools naman, totoo yan, kasi sa sobrang dami rin ng kailangan mong i-track, you need um, a software tool to keep track of every what everyone is doing, nasang, um, nasang stage na ba itong task or campaign na to. So, that's why um, you need to be comfortable then in using different kind of 
project management tools. Ayun. Ayan, siguro ito yung iniintay ng lahat na question. How much yung range ng pwede mong sahurin as a project manager? Okay. Given all the tasks. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, no? Sweldo usapan. Ayan, on average, ang isang project manager is pwedeng kumita ng $7 to $8. Yan ang average na um, sweldo. Pero, again... Per hour. Yan, oo, per hour yan. Pero, depende again sa niche or line of business ng kumpanya na mapapag-applyan nyo, it can go up to a maximum of $12 to $15 per nice. hour. Nice. Yun. Oo, may nakita ko sa Upwork na they're offering around $15. Pero I think sobrang ngarag na yung work ngayon kasi given that rate, um, you will have to manage a lot of mm-hmm. yun nga, yung part ng business. Eh, talagang sa'yo nakasalalay, di ba? Ganyan naman pag project manager. Correct. Ayun. So, on average, you can expect about Alam mo yun, let's be real- realistic, kumbaga, um, it's around 7 to $8 per hour. Sobrang mm-hmm. posible siya, alam mo yun, yan yung usual na rate as a project manager. Um, now, syempre, lahat naman ng trabaho, hindi lahat eh, rainbows and unicorns, di ba? Ano yung mga best and worst na naranasan mo na as a project manager? Like, ano yung pinaka... <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, can you share it with us? Siguro yung best talaga na naranasan ko, I would say, is syempre yung sweldo. O, ma, ano kasi, um, <clears throat> ang bigat nung task, no? So, kakibat niya na yung maganda rin dapat ang sweldo mo. So, yes. ayun, yung pay ang pinakagusto ko talaga dito. Hindi na ako mag, mamamlastic, no? Ayan. Pero, <laughs> the other things na talagang nagustuhan ko dito is yung, um, yung, kumbaga, Every day there's something na pwede mong matutunan kasi nga napakalawak ng um, iha-handle mo or ng scope ng project managing. Uh, Every day meron kang matututunan na bagong knowledge or stock which will add up to your skill set. So ayun, medyo natuwa ako doon kasi dati talaga kung tatanungin mo ako about marketing, I'm not gonna know what to tell you. Mm-hmm. Pero ngayon, tanungin mo ako talagang, you know, I I usually am really proud of what I've uh, you know, what I've accomplished so far. So, nakakatawa oh, yeah. na meron kang additional stock knowledge talaga about a lot of things na um, nagre-revolve dun sa niche ninyo. Ayan. I would say yung worse is, um, syempre, project managing. Yung pressure ng responsibility, medyo mabigat talaga siya kasi, <laughs> syempre, ikaw yung, lalo na yung dun sa mga tao at saka sa mga mm-hmm. clients. You know, if something falls out or hindi siya talaga nagwo-work. Kumbaga, um nasa yo yung responsibility or nasa yo yung um stress na oh my gosh, anong gagawin kong sunod? Um paano na to? Ano mm. step ko? So, medyo like, pag umabsent ka, kumusta oh. na pagbalik mo? Totoo <laughs> oh, 'yan. Ayun, so hindi lang ikaw, let's say may isang teammate na um biglang nawala or umabsent na ganyan. So, medyo ano siya. Um nakaka-pressure talaga siya kasi mababalian ka eh. Uh, mapipilayan ka, kumbaga. And then, Aww. ako, ako naman, ano <laughs> ka dito, every time na let's say, syempre may mga araw na hindi maganda yung pakiramdam mo, ganyan, or may bigla Aww. emergency. Ayan, pag nawawala ka, talagang mayat maya yung, hey Marlo, what's happening with this? What ha- what's happening with that? So, ayun, medyo nakaka-stress talaga siya. Um, Oo. Ano pa ba? I can imagine. Oo. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan. Tapos siguro ano lang, um, yung deadlines. Especially kapag mga projects na, alam mo yun, bigla ang kailangan nyo nang tapusin or meron siyang mm-hmm. naka-deadline tapos hindi nyo pa natatapos yung um, different levels or phases nung project na yun. Tapos kailangan nyo nang in yung deadline. Medyo, whew, nakaka-stress yun. So it's still a continuous learning. Hanggang ngayon, kahit project manager ka na or kahit nasa sobrang taas sa position ka na, you should never stop learning and investing in yourself, di ba? Um, so Marlo, last na, ano yung mga tips mo for our viewers na gusto ring maging successful sa pag work from home? Kung nasang stage ka man ngayon, let's say you're just a VA or you're just trying to figure out kung ano ba yung um, line of business or niche na papasukan mo, no? whether it's boys or non-boys, um, ang suggestion ko is further your education. Mag-research kayo. Ang daming blogs out there, even here on YouTube. Um, suggestion ko rin is mag-invest kayo with training yourself. So, maraming mga 
paid and free trainings no um sa internet and uh yun um mag-invest kayo doon kasi it's really gonna help you you know further your knowledge kung ano man yung gusto niyo gawin and then siguro mag-watch din kayo ng mga webinars napakaraming mga webinars ngayon especially ngayong pandemic nag-offer sila ng mga free webinars um kung part kayo ng mga Facebook groups about home base meron siyang mga nakikita ko na nag-o-offer ng free webinars to train you as well oh. ang masasabi ko lang is just be a go getter in general ayan wag kang susuko kung hindi mo pa nakikita yung para sa iyo talaga mag uh, invest ka sa sarili mo mag invest ka ng oras sa pagre-research and um just go for it oo yun yes go 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 <laughs> gotta <laughs> Ayan. So guys, um, siguro pag nagsa-start kayo, sometimes medyo nakaka-depress kasi hindi nyo pa nga, um, alam mo yun, medyo mahirap ngayon makapasok talaga eh. Kasi yung mga requirement ng client, hindi lang pwedeng data entry lang alam mo. Kailangan marami ka ng alam. And um, siguro sa una, magsa-struggle ka talaga. Lahat kami pinagdaanan yan. Yes. Um, all you have to do is just really... Um, do your research, you know, spend more time in, yun nga, kagaya ng sabi ni Marla, upgrading your skills, upgrading yourself, um, through trainings na marami namang nag-offer ngayon ng libre, di ba? Ayun. So, thank you so much, Marlo, for um, joining us here on our channel. Actually, yan, matagal, like I said, matagal ko na siyang kinukulit na magpa-interview sa akin. And, um, I know... Some of you may be overwhelmed with what she shared bilang marami nga talaga ang scope ng isang pagiging project manager. Pero sana nakatulong sa inyo na, alam mo yun, um, ma-inspire kayo na magkaroon kayo ng, let's say, you're starting up as a VA, gusto mong mag-upgrade ng skill. So, being a project manager is one of the um, ways that you can go and, alam mo yun, go up the career ladder, kumbaga, sa pag-home base. Kasi, some people think na kapag VA ka na, ayan na yung gagawin mo forever. It's not like that talaga. Marami pa ang ibang pwedeng gawin as a VA. So, like I said, all the time, sobrang lawak talaga nung pagiging, nung coverage ng pagiging isang virtual assistant. Ayan. So guys, masabi ko lang pala, Marlo has her own channel. Can you invite them and to like and subscribe and visit your channel? Yes. Ayan. Meron akong channel pag wala akong magawa. Naglaro ko ng makeup. <laughs> Ay, oh, may time pero, pa talaga siya. Oh, kapag hindi ganun ka busy, siguro mga once a month, charot. <laughs> hindi, ayan. So, please go ahead and visit my channel. It's Marsh Marlo. And uh, mag-subscribe na rin kayo. I hope to see you on my channel, guys. Ayan. Parang way of, ano niya yun eh, parang therapeutic for oh. her. Pang alis stress. <laughs> <laughs> so, kung medyo into makeup din kayo or into beauty and stuff. So, you can check out her channel. I'll put the link on the description box below. Ayan. Thank you so much, Marlo, for all the insights na na-share mo sa ating mga viewers today. I'm sure marami silang napulot dyan, like me, kahit na alam ko naman talaga kung ano ginagawa mo. Um, I think it was a surprise for me na ganun talaga kalawak yung scope niya. So, ayun. Sana may napulot din ang ating mga viewers. Ayun. Salamat po sa panonood at sana nga ay nakatulong tong uh, interview na ito para sa mga um, kaibigan or mga mommies and daddies natin dyan na naghahanap ng work from home. Ayun. Thank you, Marlo. Bye! Guys, ma-share ko lang for additional inspiration. Yung boss ni Marlo, their relationship is really good. And you can see here some of the things that he sent her as a token of appreciation for the kind of work that she does. So, ayan naman yung wish ko for everyone. Ayan, so there you go, guys. That's how you can become a project manager. I'm not sure if you're eyeing to become one, but we just wanted to share that it's an option na, alam mo yun, kahit nung nag-start si Marlo, hindi niya finorsi na it's gonna be one of the option that's actually very good for her. And I can tell you that she's very proud of her job right now kasi a huge part of their budget, yung family budget nila, comes from her job as a project manager. And she actually got a really good client. So, syempre mga client na yan naman, chansahan yan. You know, if a client relationship is not working out for you, then you can always choose and move on to another client. So, yan yung kagandahan naman sa online world, ba? 
And lucky for Marlo, she found a client that has the same vibe nung um, skill set niya and nung goals niya. Ayan. So, that's what I wish for everyone here on the channel as well. Ayan. So, guys, kung meron pa kayong questions or comments or kung meron kaming nakalimutang banggitin, just put it on the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and being with us today. And I'll see you on our next video.